Okay, I just got this three section Wing Chun wall bag from Everything Wing Chun. It's uh, the one that's the thick canvas with this uh, synthetic leather, leather overlays. I think it'll be nice for, for working on my punching practice. Um, I have an old one right here on the wall, this fabric one. But you know, you can see with time, the things are ripping and it's kind of sagging and all the rice is falling out because the zippers on the back are ripping out and I've used duct tape. This looks like a pretty heavy duty thing though. These rings are nice. I can see that the top, uh, there's a, st a stiff bar in the top of this bag for reinforcement. See in the back is the heavy canvas and it looks like there's, let's see, oh there's velcro. A velcro flap and the zippers are mounted high on the top. So I'm hoping that will keep them from splitting apart and having all the rice leak out. Right now I've got pebbles, rice, and beans. Maybe I'll just put rice on the top because these small pebbles can be kind of hard. But uh, yeah, we'll get this set up. I'll put a new board behind it because this board's not long enough. I bought a four foot one and some hooks and then I can hang this uh, I can hang this bag up here. But it uh, looks like it's of nice, of nice quality, pretty durable. And then I figure if I don't have the canvas, maybe as you punch more, it'll be nice to your knuckles and easy to wipe off. Yeah. So we'll get working on remounting the board and setting it up. Well, because this bag, the old bag is so torn up with the zippers, I actually had to cut some of it apart. And I thought in the top section I had pebbles and rocks, but apparently it's uh, popcorn. So I could probably just use that in the bottom section since I used rice in the other parts. I'm liking these flaps on the back. You just raise them up and there's Velcro there and then this top zipper. And the zipper up high seems, and this velcro here, should keep it from ripping out so much like the old bag did. So this one has rice. I'm gonna fill up the middle a little bit more and then maybe put some of that extra popcorn in the bottom section. All right, for this hooks at the top, I tried to tighten these in a little bit more. I had a screw for some extra support just because they hung out too far. I wanted it a little bit away from the wall, maybe just barely, but not totally stuck to the wall. It does help with shock absorption. And I don't want it too far out from the wall, so we're going to experiment with that. All right, I got this bag up on the wall now, and it seems to be pretty, pretty decent quality. And the quarter feels thick. The back side is canvas with a Velcro cover over the zipper. The zipper is mounted higher on the wall bags to not uh, burst open as much. And I think that's a really good idea. So I put rice, rice, and rice with a little bit of popcorn because that's kind of what I had left for components. I got these hooks at the hardware store and I was trying to keep it out away from the wall a little, but not too much. I got it just a little bit away from the wall, but this has a nice smooth feel, that synthetic leather. I mean, even when you just hit it, it's, I think it's nicer to your hand, in your elbows. Yeah, so it's not bad. Palm strikes. Spring punches. Yeah, it's not bad. I suppose we could kick, but I suppose even even thump them, maybe throwing shots or something like that. But in general, it feels pretty good. A little less hard than the canvas. A little bit of give, but still, I think it'd be good for your power practice. Even turning. Yeah, I like it overall. Hope we put it to good use and uh, see how durable it stays. Thanks for watching.